I've been writing uh, basically since I'm reading, um, so it's been part of my DNA, I suppose, my personality is shaped and informed by that drive towards narrative. I, it took me, I think, a long time to begin to find what people would call their voice. Of course, then I always like to think, you know, well, now what happens if you find your voice but nobody wants to hear it? Anything that matters uh, doesn't come easily. Filmmaking is always so hard for me. It's so stressful. And in many ways, I'm not really cut out to be a filmmaker. I don't get any adrenaline rush from having 50 or so or 100 people on set working. When you're on sets, you fantasize, so if only I could be back in my room at home. But then when you're in the room at home, of course, you fantasize being there on set. Uh, I always get uh, a very divisive responses to all my movies, and, and um, I think that's an inevitable result of the uh, ambiguity with which my movies are fraught. Um, uh, half the audience will say uh, how, how funny the movie is and laugh, and the other half will be angry at the first half, how can you laugh? Audiences respond in ways that are not always what the director had in mind, which is why I, I had said uh, my movies aren't for everyone, especially people who like them. And what intrigued me was the idea of how I could take someone distasteful or obnoxious and make that <coughs> character's heart uh, something felt that even that person we so much want to write off is someone worth caring for, that they too have their own dignity. And even this person's a heart that beats, a pulse.